Hi everyone and welcome to episode number 10 in 2019. This is the Hitchhiker's Guide to ServiceNow and today we're going to take a look at the community question actually that popped up and I decided to hmm let's try to do a proof of concept of that one. We had a fellow community member who wanted to have knowledge articles connected to specific items so when they were browsing through the catalog there will be a pop-up or a list of articles that might be need good to know for the users that are looking at the catalog. And if you are working with HR, you might have seen that there is some out-of-box functionality for this. Sadly, that is only for HR, or at least you need to have HR installed to have those tables and so on. So we're going to build something on our own. So, um, like the normal way, I don't get the PowerPoint to work. Here we go. My name is uh, Goa Lundqvist, aka the, the Witch Doctor. I've uh, been working now for, now for like phew, five years, I think it's up and running soon. Uh, everything from teacher to technical consultant to architect, yeah. You know, I'll put down my stuff here. And if you've seen the video before, of course, you have read it. So, Let's skip this one. If you're new, feel free to connect if you haven't done that as well. You get all my information down to your left. But I don't like to talk about myself, so let's talk about the agenda. What we're actually just going to do is two simple things. We're going to build one many-to-many -many relationship table because one category can have multiple articles and of course an article can be on multiple categories. And then of course we need to take and make some kind of widget. I have made it pretty simple for me because since we wanted to have some kind of list, I basically took the simple list, cloned that one and just changed it a little bit to get the proof of concept going. And then of course it's up to you guys to do a lot more if you'd like to do that of course. So let's skip the PowerPoint. Let's head back to our instance and just to show you, I'll reload. And now I have a category already chosen, which is the software. And as you can see down here, I have a knowledge widget showing two different knowledge articles. If I click on hardware, it will filter and show that knowledge article that is connected to hardware. And if I click on something else that doesn't have anything, it will disappear. So how is this done? Well, the first thing is I made uh, the relationship table and to go there is sys m2m.list to get that many to many tables. I have created my own. Uh, it's ah, there we go. I was looking at the wrong. I was expecting the, the table name here, but they are actually filtered down here. So I clicked new and created this table which I pretty much define that is from the category table to the knowledge table of course you can have the other way around as well doesn't really matter uh, it gave me this uh, database name I would probably have changed it if I would have using this in production because it's a bit too long for me when you're going to do scripting later on and then I just kept the default labels you can of course change that as well if you like. Then let me see if I can copy that one and go into the table. From here I made the connections of three records just to show you and it's basically just like if you look at the group membership you have the user and the group. Here I have the knowledge article and the category and they are pretty much just reference to those. Perhaps you would like to put in some filtering so you don't only see published records uh, and so on. But I made the three records just to be able to show something. So that's quite simple and easy to set up. Then what I did was I went into our beloved search portal. What I did was I went into the simple list. Let's get that one just to show you and what I actually did which might be overkill to show but I just since it's read only I basically just hit the clone and from that I made this one instead and I try to keep it as 
out of the box as possible. So the only thing I've changed is in the server script where it basically had this line earlier. This is how you decide what you want to filter or the records. And I added this part instead. So what do I do? I get the, the category sysid because you actually see that here in the URL. So I fetch that sysid then I start up with a, a variable to save all the sysids that I get, putting that in an array. Then I call, uh, I make a new call to the Glide record with the many to many table, where I filter that the category of the records I would like to return is the same as the one that the user are looking at. Then I'll make a query, and then I'll go through all those records that they get back as a response. And I take the sysid from this field, which is the knowledge article sysid, and put that into the array. Then I might have an array of uh, three different sysids. Since we have more than one, we need to use in, and we can't actually have equal to uh, like this, because then it expects one long value, meaning you're looking for a sysid with three times uh, the length of one. So we have in, so it says, give me all the records where the sysid is any one of these values in this semicolon, uh, semicolon, comma taken, uh, array. And I will put in that as an encoded query instead. And by doing that, we are actually let me find my portal getting back this now it's almost done but before it will work you need to set some options so i control right click hit options i need to set up which table are we fetching the records from i don't set up the filter because that is the filter we are building here uh, I don't know if you somehow could make some JavaScript, call some script includes, and put that in here. But I took the easy road and did like this. So we don't need any filter because we're doing that in the code. I choose which field is the, the big display field, which is also the field that you click on. I decided I would like to have the short description as well. And then I decide where should we go when we click on anything of these. And I of course used out of the box KB underline article. Save those and then it's up and running. So it's not harder than this. Uh, I would probably do some more stuff. For example, I will make this get in a pop-up or a new tab because if a user is browsing through, I guess they'll still want to keep this one untouched and open the knowledge articles in a new tab and, and so on. But this is a nice quick proof of concept that is really easy to do and I'll put the video in the community as well in the thread so if you want to have the code I will put the code in my github slash goron language slash youtube and I'll make an episode 10 that will exist there now when you look at this video. So I'll fix that before I'll publish that one. So that's about it. I hope you all have a good weekend. And it's Friday evening here soon in, in Sweden. So I'll get ready for taco night, I guess. So thanks a lot and see you around.